Hi everyone, I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. Soap making is my creative outlet and this channel is all about soap making. Today is Father's Day and I'd like to greet all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. Today I'd like to share my Father's Day cold process soap and this is made in loving memory of my late father who is a soldier. Without further ado, let's get started! The ingredients that I use today are 5 oil blend, lye, fragrance oil, teal green mica, rose pink mica, and neon yellow pigment. First, let us disperse our colorant in oil. I've used the mini mixer to ensure that the colorants are properly dispersed and to avoid color specks in the final bar. Here I have used 1 teaspoon per pound of oil colorant load. Both lye and oil are at room temperature now. I always prepare my oil blend and lye in advance and I normally master batch a quantity that is good for 15 to 20 small batches for efficiency and consistency. It also helps me to eliminate other factors and variables especially when I am testing fragrance oil and colorants. First, let us slowly pour 37% lye solution into the 5 oil blend. This 5 oil blend contains pure olive oil, sustainable palm oil, 76 degrees coconut oil, jojoba oil, and castor oil. And for the lye, it was calculated at 5% super fat using my own soap lye calculator at www mysoapcalc.com backslash soap. It is a free tool that you can use. I'll put the link in the description box below. Then, we have to swirl it gently until we reach an emulsion. You can use a stick blender if you prefer, but for me, I am using my no stick blender technique. I am doing the traditional way of mixing soap, but unlike ancient days when soap makers have to mix and stir oil and lye for a couple of hours or days to get the final consistency, I can do it in less than a few minutes because I am using a higher concentration of lye solution. As you can see, the emulsion stays fluid even if the concentration is high because of the gentle hand mixing and low temperature. I've added the fragrance. Fragrance load is 3.5% and my target here is a mild and gently scented soap bar. Today, I've decided to use Hugs and Kisses fragrance oil. For a very simple reason, I want to send Hugs and Kisses to my late papa who is now in heaven. For those of you who haven't tried it yet, it smells like lilac blossom, apple and pear, Streaming into a light floral bloom of rose petals, white jasmine, and peony. I can also smell soft masks. So this scent is actually good for either male or female. And, and the scent is also mild and we can use it even for baby soap. Then we have to slowly stir it again. I've decided to divide the soap butter into three equal portions. Then I stirred it again. As you can see, I am vigorously stirring the butter until trace. Now we are ready to pour the solution into the mold and let's start to design our soap. I decided to pour the soap into a plastic egg tray to create the color layers. I used uh, these colors because my father is a soldier so I'd like to have a green bar of soap. Then I included the pink color because we know that as I've mentioned just now the scent for hugs and kisses um, is a bit on the floral side and then yellow is just added to lighten up a bit between green and pink I'll turn the music on and I hope that you'll join me while I continue to design this soap
Okay? After the pour, I've decided to use the Lazy Susan to spin the soap. I just spin it until almost half of the mold um, is uh, swirled. And I left the center untouched. Finally, our design is ready and I just tap the mold a few times to eliminate any bubbles or pockets. After 3 days, I've unmolded the soap. For the question of the day, what color or design did you made for your Father's Day theme soap? Let us know or let me know by writing it down in the comment section below. And today, I'll be using my improvised slab cutter. I just made this on my own. I improvised this on my own. If you are interested to watch on how I did this, you just let me know. Put the comment in the comment section so, so, so that I'll know that you are interested and I'll take the time to edit this footage so that I can share it with everyone. It's so easy and I know that everyone can do it. And you don't have to spend so much on making our slab cutter. Alright. I think my camera is having a hard time to focus. Alright, it's better now. And as you can see, the soap is still soft. Remember that the super fat that I used today is eight percent. So what I did was to freeze it for for two hours before I actually unmolded the soap. And here I am using Red Sparkle, my handy dandy single cutter, to cut the bars again. I hope that you enjoyed our soap making session today and thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I am Candy the Clumpy Soaper and if you are new here, I hope that you would consider subscribing into my channel for a weekly soap making video, DIY tutorials and a lot more. Hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when I release a new content here in my channel and I hope that you like um, the same type of content that I published today. Just like you. Soap making is my passion and I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we can learn and grow together. Thank you so much Soap Sisters and Bubble Brothers and happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!